Module 1 Recap. In this lesson we're going to give you a checklist that you can print out and use to mark off your progress. We're going to recap the things you need to have done and we're also going to look at the two badges that you can claim during Module 1. So congratulations, you've reached the last lesson in Module 1. The first thing to do is make sure you download your checklist below this lesson. Now we recommend printing out this PDF and marking off your progress. The PDF is designed to show you the progress you have made through Module 1 and each module will have one of these checklists. So the badges for Module 1. These are the Seller Central Setup Badge and the Opportunity Finder Badge. Here is what you need to do to claim both badges. So I've logged in to my ASM dashboard and I've clicked on the Badges button by clicking on the drop down as we learned in the Welcome module. So the first badge we're going to look at is the Seller Central Setup Badge. So click on the Seller Central Setup Badge. It's this one in the top right. You can read the description and the requirement is to upload a screenshot of your Amazon Seller Central account. And what we actually need is your profile page. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I've collapsed a lot of the tabs to avoid having to blur out too much information. So your page might look a little bit different than this. But what you need to do to claim your badge is go to the top right, put your mouse over settings and then click on account info. Then all you need to do is take a screenshot of the top left corner of this page. Now I'm on a Mac so if you remember from the previous lessons it's command shift 4 and that gives us the cursor. I'm going to put that in the top left corner, hold down the left key and drag the box down. And you want to go far enough to the right that it includes the entire URL at the top of the page and about halfway down the page too. So you're, so you're taking a screenshot of the gray area you can see here. Then all I need to do is let go. You can hear the lovely camera shutter sound and that means it's dropped that screenshot onto my desktop. Then all I need to do is choose file on the badge setup and navigate to that screenshot. Double click on it see it's appeared there and click submit and I'm not going to click submit on this because I don't want support to have to go through and check it. Now only one person in support will ever see this badge and your details and once they've used it they will delete the screenshot so there's no need for you to worry about privacy. But that's our Seller Central setup badge done. So the second badge we're going to claim is the Opportunity Finder badge. So I'm just going to click on it. It's the first one in the second row. The badges may change order, but they're all self-explanatory. They've got the names written on them. And you can see here, the requirement is to upload a screenshot of your three top product opportunities. So to do that, I'm going to go to my sheet. Now, I've just created a copy here because Mike is working with the original. And essentially all we need is a screenshot showing your three hot opportunities. Now, as I said before, only one person in support will ever see these badge submissions and then they're deleted. However, if you're worried about anyone seeing your choices, you can always narrow down the columns so the names aren't visible. For instance, you just put your arrow of the line between them and left click and drag it to the left. And you can do the same with keyword if you wish. And then we just need a screenshot and you only need to go as far as the price. We don't need to see all the other information. And again, I'm on the Mac. It's Command Shift 4. It gives me my cursor. I'm going to put it in the top left. I'm going to drag it down. And I'm just going to make sure I cover all the three hot opportunities that I selected in red. Now you can create a completely new file if you want with just your three hot opportunities. It's completely up to you. But I'm going to let go. It saved that screenshot to my dashboard. I'm going to go back to my badges. Click on the choose file. There you can see it's shown up and I'm actually going to submit this one and I'm going to pop into admin and delete it so our customer service don't have to deal with it. But once you've found the file, double clicked on it, selected it, you're just going to click submit. And there you go, you can see upload successful. And it also mentioned there approval may take up to 24 hours. Now it can take longer depending on when you submit this, but you just need to be patient, they will get to you. Now it's important to realize that product selection is one of the most important aspects of the entire business model. But it can also be the most time consuming and frustrating. Being patient and methodical is really important. Following the criteria and selection process will mean you have viable opportunities to take into Module 2. So your action steps for Module 1. Set up world first or pioneer if required. 
Set up your Seller Central account. Build your primary products list. Add your competing products to that list. And finally, narrow down your list to your best three hot opportunities. So what's next? Well first, make sure you have chosen your best three hot opportunities. Then in module two, Mike is going to walk you through finding and contacting suppliers, choosing your best opportunity, ordering samples, and choosing your supplier. But that's it for this lesson and module. Take care.